Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Fast Forecast. We are doing our introduce the organizations and corporations that make up Stanton. Tonight, we're going to start with Chaos Squad. You all know Chaos Squad. They are the organization that winds up in our news sheets more often than not because some would call them the Scourge of Stanton. Some would call them the Scourge of the Galaxy. So, of course, we're going to give them the chance to speak for themselves. And, uh, sir, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us about you, your organization, and your position in the organization. Great. Uh, well, thank you. I am Captain Dirty. I am the leader of Chaos Squad. And we are indeed the Scourge of Stanton. Well, uh, how did your, uh, organization form what what was the motivation to form uh the pirate organization yeah um i originally joined star citizen um because of the prospect of piracy so that was uh a goal of mine from the very beginning um more recently when i formed chaos squad um we um we originally were uh, part of another organization that was kind of doing all kinds of different stuff <clears throat> and um, the three three or four of us within that org really wanted to focus more on piracy and so that's what we did um, and eventually we, we just found it easier to split away and create our own uh, our own organization uh, which was Chaos Squad What you're saying unlike most organizations that re revert to piracy or, or turn to piracy Chaos Squad was formed for piracy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's our our sole intent. Um, we, like I said, we we kind of uh, formed a, our, our core group of founders and um, started, you know, um, practicing and developing strategies specifically for piracy, um, to the exclusion of basically all of the other game groups in the game. This is all we do. <laughs> this and maybe a little sprinkling of PvP here and there. Okay. Well, you mentioned PvP and, of course, the piracy. What is Chaos Squad's rules of engagement? Um, that that depends. Um, so, generally, we're not really going to start fights with people who are flying um, <clears throat> fighters, because most of the time, most of us are looking for other targets. Um, they're, they're low on the list of priorities. If we're really bored, I mean, nothing is off the table. We'll we'll shoot at anything we see. Um, but generally speaking, uh, most of the time we're looking for trading ships, uh, mining vessels, or ships that we think might be carrying ROCs. And so it, it's about the money for you, not just the fighting. Yeah, that's the main goal, right? We were... Fighting is fun, right? But, you know, I think after, for me at least, after a little while of just focusing on PvP only um, and dogfighting, that gets that can get a little stale. Um, so, yeah, you know, the main goal for us as pirates is to be extracting value from our targets. So, yeah, trade ships, mining ships, ships that we think might have ROCs, they take top priority. That's what we're looking for. Um, so yeah, we we most of the time won't be hanging like the places where we go. You don't really see that many people flying uh, combat vessels. In fact, if you do, they're probably pirates. Okay, uh, we do have some questions from our readers uh, that were sent to us, and we'll probably do this going forward. Uh, one of the main questions that we tend to get, especially on our comments in our newspaper is do you really let people go if they pay you we see that you ask people for payment and more often than not they either shoot at you or fly away but if they do decide to pay up do you actually release them yes absolutely and uh our videos will show i have i haven't counted but there's got to be at least 10 uh or more situations where people have decided that they'd take a chance and pay us and yeah, we, we let them go every single time. Um, actually, from the conception of Chaos Squad, we've always had two, two um, rules in our code. Um, one of them 
is that uh, if somebody is negotiating with us, we will not use lethal force against them. Um, you know, sometimes there's a communications failure or whatever, and they accidentally get blown up, right? But you know, every, if everything goes well, we will we will keep them alive, right? If they are talking to us uh, in good faith, right? <clears throat> but if they start to, you know, if they cancel comms, if they start talking shit. Uh, or like advertising in chat that they're being attacked by pirates and give away their location. Uh, if they shoot at us, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna kill them, right? But if they, you know, if we say pay or die and you pay, then we'll let you live. Okay. Well, that leads us into another question. Uh, you always demand payment. And as you said, it's pay or die. How do you come up with your ransom numbers? Um, yeah, so it's kind of a sliding scale, right? I mean, we come across a variety of ships. Um, some of them are very small, some of them are very large, some are in between, right? Um, so the size of the ship um, is one factor that I take into mind. I'm also looking at the uh, types of commodities that they're carrying. And, um, you know, I'm trying to basically guesstimate the value of, you know, their cargo based on how big it is and, you know, what it is um and then the third kind of factor is uh if they're responding to me are they being rude are they being you know polite right because that might change things a little bit um so the low end usually looks like 10k for you know maybe a uh, empty ship that we ship jack or um a trading vessel that like i don't know maybe um sees us so the jig is up right but he hasn't filled up his cargo bay so you know we'll say like yeah sure 10k and we'll just get out of here and you can do your thing right um but if we catch a you know a caterpillar that's full of laranite which never really happens anymore but um you know we might charge as much as 200k if they are also being rude to us um but generally speaking I'm usually going for, if it's a full ship of something, you know, moderately valuable, uh, between 50 and 100k. It's usually what I'll ask for. And I try and make it, like, my goal, and I don't always succeed in this because I'm doing some real fast and loose, loose math on the fly, uh, but my goal is to make it so that they will still get some profit out of their run. Um, I'm hoping at least half of what they are expecting to get. Sometimes I succeed in that, but sometimes not. So you would say that manners matter when, even when dealing with pirates? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, we're used to people being really aggressive and rude and stuff. And so, like, we kind of accept that as just par for the course, our daily experience. Um, but, you know, if, if you're not rude to us, yeah, that's going to probably work in your favor. Um, <laughs> because honestly, we'll we will be surprised. Um, I've had I've had uh, a situation or two where, like, I would approach someone and be just about to you know maybe pull the trigger. Because I'll be honest with you, I don't always even ask them for for a ransom. Um, there are some situations where it's just easier for me to kill them and take their stuff. And I know that I'll make way more money if I do that than if I try and negotiate. So, yeah. Uh, you know, anyways, so someone, some of them have opened comms with me and been like, hey, um, you look like you're about to pirate me or kill me or whatever. And I'll be like, yeah, you are right. I am just about to do that. Uh, and, you know, some of them have been like, hey, look, let's just here. I'll give you some money and, you know, we'll just forget this whole thing ever happened. Um, and in those situations, yeah, that's been great. They were they were actually kind of fun to interact with um and yeah i absolutely would let them off um for probably half of what i would normally ask them for well that leads us into um uh, are any targets actually off limits uh no no um <laughs> <laughs> we uh, um like i said earlier we we prioritize ships that have <clears throat> um some kind of valuable cargo on board but um, no, nothing's off limits. In fact, you know, some of us like to see how many uh, UEE Navy we can kill in a night. 
Okay. Well, that leads us to a question from a reader. Is there any honor left in piracy? Oh, yeah. Plenty. Plenty. Um, like I said before, like, we, we will honor our word. Um, that's us. That's me. That's Chaos Squad. Your mileage may vary with other orgs out there. Um, but, yeah, there is... We will honor our word. Um, there is honor among thieves within our org. We... Uh, we will not steal. We will not lie, you know, to each other. Um, and also, um, there is a, a good amount of cooperation that happens behind the scenes with the different pirate organizations. Would it be too much to ask for an example, or is that uh, top secret pirate stuff? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... We will just kind of give each other um, tips and, and, you know, heads up. Like, for example, in the recent hotfix, um, the the merit system changed. So if you go into prison now uh, while you're carrying merits from the outside, it'll wipe your merit. Um, really? So, oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, so don't, don't hold merits um, on your main account anyways. If you have an alt, great. You know, they're, they're your merit mule now. Um, but yeah, you know, so one of the pirate orgs discovered this, uh, a few hours into the patch and, you know, I'm sure a short, short while after they figured it out, um, they had, you know, told, told the rest of us, um, through some kind of pr private communications channels that we have. Interesting. Yep. Kind of like a pirate face channel. Interesting. Yeah. We got a little group chat going. <laughs> well, uh, with every organization, one of the uh, goals is expansion. Uh, do y'all enlist? What are your recruitment standards? Yes, um, we we are recruiting. Um, <clears throat> we um, we're usually looking for people who have spent a little bit of time in the game. Um, a week or two or maybe a month with, is good to really learn the game and you know uh f figure out their way around the bugs and you know just learn to fly and navigate and do all the things that you need to do to you know go from walking to running if you will um and you know we uh we'll we'll train you but we kind of we're not we're kind of hoping that you've invested enough into the game to have learned that stuff on your own um and gotten over those frustrations <laughs> on your own um but yes um we we'll, we offer trainings for all of our uh, recruits so like we're not expecting you to be like experts or anything um just to be able to like play and enjoy the game um and then you know we'll we'll teach you what you need to know from there Fair enough. Uh, how would someone go about signing up? Um, yeah, you just want to contact one of the um, uh, captains uh, or myself. Um, you can contact me through either my YouTube channel, Chaos Squad, uh, or on Discord. I am uh, capital D Dirty, Bo uh, Dirty Bombs, um, number sign 8338. Uh, and just say, hey, uh, I want to join Chaos Squad. And we'll get you set up on the process to get, you know, to become a prospect. Well, with the piracy, of course, there's bounty. So with members, what does the split look like? Is there a captain's share? Is there a upkeep share? How, how does that work? Sure. Um so it's been suggested that we do, uh, uh, you know, a double share for captains or even a, um, you know, a share for the kind of org, um, especially for like, you know, getting new recruits into into pirate capable ships. Um, but currently it's just an even split for everybody who's on the operation. Um, that's... Wait, it's. An even split for everyone who flies, even if they're a day old in the organization versus someone who is a founder. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, if you're That's there and fair. and actively participating, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we uh, we base a lot of our 
our rules around um, and structure around you know the pirate lore that you can find anywhere with a quick Google search. Um, and yeah, that was one of the things that they apparently did. Some crews did um, did a captain's or, and like you know a, a double share for like the captain and the accountant or something like that. Um, but other crews, it was just an even split all the way around. I think probably on a smaller scale, right? So and you know it's just easier and everybody feels you know equal um, as you know they're a part of the org and I think it's just good all around. Um, another thing that we do is. Um, you know, this it doesn't extend to our prospects. You have to become like a fully fledged member for this to, uh, you know, unlock for you. Um, but, you know, if we're having any kind of org discussion, um, everybody who is a full member gets to participate in those discussions and have a, an equal vote. Their vote is as, you know, is equal to mine uh, on that affair. So we try and keep things pretty democratic. That. Okay, we've we've heard about this from the uh, old Terran histories that we've come across as media. Yes, interesting. Uh, we'd like to take this time to uh, remind you you have a lot of detractors as well as supporters. Is there anything you'd like to say to them, uh, e either side? Um, yeah, sure. If you are a um, a supporter of Chaos Squad. Awesome, thank you. Um, we, you know, I'm I'm not gonna lie. We enjoy uh, the notoriety that um, Chaos Squad has found, <laughs> and so we appreciate you who uh, enjoy watching our content. Um, those of you who you know uh, are, are haters, you know, it's fine. I I fully accept that um, we're gonna piss a lot of people off. I mean, you know. That's that's par for the course. We 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 piss somebody off every day, uh, whether they're a solo player or the leader of an org. We don't know, you know, who they are most of the time when we hit them. They're just a target to us. Um, and I I fully accept that we are um, a hurdle in the path of anyone who is pursuing an industrialist, um, you know, uh, career path in Star Citizen. We are the thing that makes your job more difficult. We're, we're what you need to be worried about when you're making your super high value trade run. Uh, you know, and yeah, that's gonna irritate people, especially traders who invest a lot of money into their cargo and then on top of losing their profit and time, also lose their investment, which, yeah, that's brutal. That's, that's really brutal. I, I, you know, came back to the game recently last year and spent time um, trading to kind of learn learn that aspect of the game a little bit uh, before raising the black. Um, and I won't I you know won't lie I got pirated during that time period. Um, it was a little bit more like you know I, I'll say it was um, less less structured than what Chaos Squad does. Um, but yeah, that really stung the wallet. Absolutely. Um, it hurts. And so, yeah, I get it, man. People are going to be upset. Um, so I don't really worry about it too much. I just let them be upset. So you would say a motto would be, don't fly what you can't rebuy. Yeah, I mean, look, that's rule number one of trading and, you know, uh, cargo hauling in Star Citizen is you shouldn't spend more than half of your total bank account uh you know or whatever you're comfortable losing but it you know if it's your entire entire bank account in your cargo hold <laughs> you're honestly just, you're you're really gambling at that point um and it doesn't matter if you made your last five runs no problem the sixth run could be the one that we show up on we will admit that we've had that we have played those dice before and uh when we've done trading runs, had a, a cargo hold full of our last 1.8 million. Yeah. And uh, ran into a uh, 30K. Yeah, right. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Uh, when I was cargo hauling, 30Ks were rampant. Um, I would get at least two or three every play session. And so it was a serious gamble. Um, I, didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about the pirates back then. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the fighting, the 
instability in the system was harder than dodging individuals like yourself. Absolutely. Well, uh, two more questions, and then I'll... Okay. Because we realize that for pirates, time is money. Yeah. Uh, what is the future goals of Chaos Squad? Um, sure. Our, our main goal is... Uh, expansion, like we touched on earlier, um, we're we're looking to expand our global ranks, um, and and you know we are absolutely accepting players from the uh, North American servers, but um, we're specifically looking for people out there in the uh, EU and Aussie servers that might be looking to uh, raise the black and join Chaos Squad. Um, we're also looking for people who um, we've got a few identified already. Um, we have some people already in those time zones, uh, but we're also looking for um, people who might we, we might want to develop as captains uh, to lead those crews during those time periods. Um, some of our other goals are, um, you know, they're a little bit more wrapped up in the development of the game. Uh, we are very excited to utilize a Kraken uh, and to explore um, the lead the like logistics of running a full-time pirate crew because we're gonna you know if if what they say is true we're gonna probably have to be going off grid a lot of the time uh so that means we'll have to be self-sufficient um and we'll have to have some kind of supply line uh so you know i'm one of my goals is to make sure that that's all possible and um thought about uh as it's you know as or before it's implemented um because i think that's really when the th when things are going to get really interesting as the game expands um both in uh size and depth of play chaos squad with the kraken now that is terrifying yes release the kraken i'm ready well we have just one more and it's from a reader Okay. And that would be, does Chaos Squad have eye patches and peg legs? <laughs> um, not to my knowledge. Uh, one of us does have a parrot. Um, that is, uh, you will definitely hear the parrot if the parrot is awake um, when that pirate is pirating. Um, I'm sure we, I mean, look, we've talked about... We all of us want to have skulls and crossbones uh, that we can plaster all over our ships, and if the the day CIG gives us eye patches and peg legs, I guarantee you half my guys will have them, uh, myself included. So you know, hopefully uh, soon TM. Well, we we will admit that we have seen before you go raiding that you start up with sea shanties and. Uh, Literally on your Discord, you will start flying the Jolly Roger, and it is a sight to behold. In uh, a little bit of disclosure here at the end, we will admit that uh, Chaos Squad has routinely funded through sponsorship this channel. Uh, they have also donated in a large way to our Christmas giveaways to new uh, new flyers and pilots, uh, but we're always up front and we do not give you any slack you are pirates you're mercenaries you're cutthroats you are not nice people <laughs> no no we don't pretend to be either and uh just because you buy ad space does not mean that we treat you like you're nice people no i've always thought that your uh reporting was uh pretty fair um and you know despite the Add space, um, not biased towards us, but you know that's just my perspective. Well, we do appreciate you coming down with us, and uh, we had to find neutral space because most of you who are watching this later will probably notice our friend uh, Captain here is currently wanted at a crime stat of five, so we had to find a neutral space where he was not going to show up on radar. So we are in the middle of the black, in the middle of a comms blackout, just so we could have this. And we appreciate you sitting down and talking with us tonight. Absolutely. Um, it was my pleasure. Thank you. Well, be safe. And uh, wherever you're headed to next, we wish you the best of luck. And from all of us here at Fast Forecast, we wish you a good night. Same to you. Uh, fly safe and always pay your pirate.